Hello and welcome to ZimWatch TV. We are thrilled to have you join our community of news enthusiasts. If you're looking for the latest news, updates, and insights, you're in the right place. Subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and like our videos to stay updated on all our latest content. Opposition supporters send strong message at funeral, we will never leave Nelson Chamisa alone. At a recent funeral of a prominent activist, women who support the opposition sent a strong message to the government, singing a song that said, We will never leave Nelson Chamisa alone, is a lie. The funeral, attended by hundreds of supporters, was a show of solidarity with Chamisa and the opposition. The women's song was a clear message to the government that they would continue to support Chamisa, despite the challenges and intimidation they face. The song, sung in the local language, was a powerful expression of determination and resilience. It was a message to the government that they would not be intimidated or silenced, and that they would continue to fight for their rights and freedoms. The funeral was also attended by several leaders, who paid tribute to the deceased activist and reiterated their commitment to the struggle for democracy and human rights in Zimbabwe. The government has been accused of cracking down on supporters, with several activists arrested and detained in recent weeks. However, the opposition remains defiant, with supporters vowing to continue the fight for democracy and human rights. The women's song at the funeral was a clear indication of the opposition's strength and resilience, and a message to the government that they would not be easily defeated. As one supporter said, we will continue to fight for our rights and freedoms, no matter what the government throws at us. We will never give up. The funeral was a powerful show of solidarity with Chamisa and the opposition, and a clear message to the government that they would not be intimidated or silenced. The opposition supporters are determined to continue their fight for democracy and human rights, and they will not be deterred by the government's crackdown. The song sung by the women has become a rallying cry for the opposition and a symbol of their determination and resilience. It is a message to the government that they will not be easily defeated and that they will continue to fight for their rights and freedoms. The opposition supporters are determined to bring about change in Zimbabwe and they will not be silenced or intimidated. They will continue to fight for democracy and human rights, no matter what the government throws at them.